Hello, Reader Leaders! Today's story is the old swimming hole. So we're just going to go right ahead and get started. Nick was staying with his grandma and grandpa for the summer while his mom went to school. He had his own room, he had a new bike, he even had a dog, but he had nothing to do and no one to do it with. Because he had nothing of his own to do, he helped grandpa and grandma. First, he helped grandpa clean the garage. Then he helped grandma plant the garden. Next, he helped Grandpa clean the cellar, and now he was helping Grandma clean the attic. While he was in the attic, he found an old photo album. It was hidden in the depths of a trunk full of old clothes. I haven't seen that in years, said Grandma. It belonged to your great-grandma Carson. There are pictures in there of Grandpa as a boy. There are pictures in there of Grandpa, lots of them. There are pictures of Grandpa as a baby. There are pictures of Grandpa on his first bike. There are pictures of Grandpa on a pony. But one picture was Nick's favorite. It showed three boys in baggy swim trunks standing on a rocky beach. He liked it mostly because of the beach. That's Grandpa in the middle, said Grandma. What's that place, asked Nick. I don't know, said Grandma. Must be around here, though. Grandpa grew up right in this town. Ask him. So when Grandpa got home, Nick showed him the picture. That's the old swimming hole, said Grandpa. It's down on the river. I haven't been there in years. Is it still there, asked Nick. It must be, said Grandpa, but you never know the way things change. Tell you what, let's play Explorer and try to find it. We could go in the morning before Grandma puts you to work in that dusty attic. Grandpa winked. Great, said Nick. So the next morning, they drove down to the river. They parked the car by an old building. I'm surprised this is still here, said Grandpa of the building. They followed an overgrown path into the woods. I'm surprised we can still find this path, said Grandpa. Finally, they came to the swimming hole. Oh my, said Grandpa. Looks like a lot of people found this place, said Nick, and cared little about it, said Grandpa. There was trash everywhere. Old tires, broken refrigerators, old stoves. There was even a junk car and there was paint splashed on the rocks. People had been dumping old motor oil there too. You could see traces of pollution on the surface of the water. Nick was sad. The picture made it look like such a special place. He was hoping it could be his special place, but now it was just a dump. Grandpa looked sad too. This is a shame, he said, a real shame. Suddenly, Grandpa said, do you have that picture with you, the old one you found in the attic? I have an idea. Nick took the picture out of his pocket. We're going to take another picture, just like this one of this place now. Let's go back to the car. There's a camera in the trunk. Nick and Grandpa got the camera and came back to take the pictures. They took a whole roll of pictures, then they went into town to get them developed. When the pictures were ready, they picked the one that was most like the old picture. Grandpa asked the photo place to make big copies of both of them. What do you want them for, asked Nick. You and I are going to take them to the town meeting next week, explained Grandpa. The town is always talking about building more playgrounds. We've got a perfect playground right here, one that nature gave us. All we have to do is clean it up. The next week, Grandpa and Nick took the pictures to the town meeting. Grandma went too. And when it was time to talk about building playgrounds, Grandpa and Nick stood up. 
Grandpa talked about nature's playgrounds. He talked about endangered places and animals. Nick showed the two pictures. Some of the people at the meeting were Grandpa's age and remembered playing there. Some of the people at the meeting believed nature was precious. A number of people at the meeting believed in saving tax money whenever they could. And all these people thought Grandpa had a great idea and wanted to help. So they planned a cleanup day at the old swimming hole. They put up posters, they handed out flyers, they put pressure on the mayor to get her to let town workers use the town's equipment to help out. And when the day came, about 100 people, grown up, grown ups and kids, showed up to help. They loaded the old tires, broken refrigerators, and old stoves onto a truck and hauled them away. They hauled away the junked car too. They picked up all the trash, they cleaned off all the paint, and pretty soon the old swimming hole was starting to look the way it did when Grandpa was a boy. They still had to clean up the spilled oil. That would take more time and special equipment, but they had come a long way. So the next day they had a picnic to celebrate right at the old swimming hole. Nick had a special reason to celebrate. While cleaning up the swimming hole, he made some friends. Now things were better. He had something to do and best of all, someone to do it with. I like this story for a lot of different reasons, but one reason is because it lets us know how we can do our part to help keep our communities safe and clean. I hope you enjoyed this story, The Old Swimming Hole. Have a wonderful day and happy learning. Bye.